Hey YouTubers, D Collector 777 here with my latest haul video. Happy New Year. This is my first um, more official haulage for 2015. Hoping everyone had a great holiday. So this pickup consists of video games, comic books, uh, action figures, as well as a rare sports card haulage from a thrift store. So, without further delay, let's get it started. I don't typically typically pick up sports cards, not unless I know that um, you know I'm getting a great deal on the lot. So, um, I came into some oldies but goodies at a thrift store, and the owner of the thrift store agreed to sell these cards to me at three dollars a piece. So I thumbed through what they had and a lot of them caught my eye so I had to jump on this deal. So I'm going to go ahead and go through them with you guys fairly quickly. I hope some of my viewers enjoys these cards. Uh, it might bring back some memories of back in the day players. So uh, first off, uh, 1990 Upper Deck Deion Sanders. This is... Uh, rookie card got Greg Maddox's rookie card leaf as well as the Donruss variation it's Thurman Munson rookie Ryan Sandberg's rookie from the Chicago Cubs times two Tony Gwynn's rookie card from the Padres times two Larry Bird you can see how um, yellow the sleeves are from its age times two. One of my faves, uh, favorite players from back in the day, because I am a big A's fan. Got Mark McGuire, his USA Baseball card times two. Roger Craig's rookie card. There's Jerry Rice's rookie card. Ken Harrelson, Senators. This is legit. Burt Blylevin, Twins. Jim Hunter. Catfish. That's Tony Larusa. I believe this is his rookie card. Manager of the A's and St. Louis Cardinals. Ron Santo rookie card. There's Cal Ripken Jr.'s rookie. Times two. As well as the Don Russ variation. Or Don Russ run. Times two. John Elway's rookie card. Also have this was a card that I always wanted back in the nineties, but it was just really, really expensive back then. It's uh Ken Griffey Jr.'s upper deck rookie card. But with this haul, I managed to score not one, not two, not three, not four, but five <laughs> of his um <clears throat> Upper deck rookie card. So I was stoked to see that. Dan the Man Marino's rookie card. Times one, two, three, four, five as well. So three bucks a piece on these bad boys. I'll take any day. An old school Frank Robinson card. Sorry about the glare, guys. Great condition. Legit. It is the real deal. Hank Aaron. This could be from the 50s. I'm not sure though, but it is the real deal. And we got Pete Rose's rookie card. I guess I should have swapped out the sleeves first before showing so you guys could see the full uh, colors pop in. I mean, this card looks a lot better in person than it is coming up in the screen right now. And last but not least, I believe this is the most priciest one of the bunch. Picked this up for $3. And it is the double rookie card of Larry Bird and Magic Johnson with Dr. J right in the middle. I was hoping to score a Michael Jordan rookie card, but yeah, no, I was not there. But still... This is a pretty awesome lot. 
pretty awesome mixture of cards for three bucks a piece. There you go. Now, in terms of uh, action figures, the haulage I got, wanted to add this in the mix. Um, I just noticed the new wave of the Lego Minifigs Collector's Edition and thought this guy was pretty cool. It's um, the one, Mr. Hot Dog. Weird thing is they had two cases, and this was the only one I found uh, through Feely, of course. But, um, yeah, it seems like this guy is uh, pretty hard to find. So I thought that was pretty cool. And in terms of Legos, I found this at a thrift store for a dollar. It is stock number 40108. The balloon-esque um, cart thingy with the two minifigs. So this for a buck was a great deal. Uh, another thrift store that I frequent, I found uh, Evil Lynn original for 50 cents. Did not have her. She is kind of loose, but I'm not going to leave uh, original vintage He-Man figure for 50 cents behind. The comic book store that I went to was uh, having a sale for their figures as well, 50% off. I picked up uh, the Rat King for 5 bucks. Does have most of his accessories. I believe he's missing a few rats that shoot out of this um, bow and arrow thing here. Comes with his uh, little bio card. And I picked this up at the thrift store as well. It is a Zmot from GoBots, the 280Z, in great condition. Yeah, GoBots you don't find too often. And finding one in this great shape. I was happy. I think I believe I paid two bucks for him. A little bit of loose joints there, but you know, it's typical for the die cast metal that they added back in the day. I picked this up at the, the comic book place as well. They were doing the um, half off for their action figures. So I picked up a couple of G1 Transformers. Here is Smokescreen. Great looking figure. 280Z, yeah, the Nissan's hold dear, near and dear to my heart. Yeah, he was priced at $29.99, got him for $15. And this other figure that I found had no uh, price sticker on him. So the guy just gave me him for the same price. I'm just glad he didn't look him up. But this is the eHobby exclusive skids in silver. He typically runs from eighty to a hundred dollars because he's he's pretty rare. So yeah, he gave them to me for thirty dollars, fifty percent off, so fifteen bucks for an exclusive skids. And I also picked these two action figures up from that uh, the thrift store for three bucks a piece. Uh, I believe these are from the 90s. Yep, 1994 original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Here's the Yellow Ranger. Still sealed. Pretty good condition. And we got the Pink Ranger. Not bad for $3 a piece. Hey YouTubers, I uh, just got out of that comic book store here, and for 40 bucks, I picked up a good enough copy for me. Brave and the Bold presents Kid Flash, Aqualad, and Robin, also known as the first appearance of the Teen Titans. Not bad for $39.99. Glare is banging right there.
Now, the funny thing about that thrift store is um, when I got up to the register, the cashier told me that any comic book that wasn't marked was priced at 29 cents. So those two comic books, the um, Cameo of Gambit and the First Appearance Apocalypse, I got for 29 cents each. So I thought that was a great find. This Batman number 550 I picked up at a thrift store for 50 cents. First Appearance of Chase. I got this at a Goodwill. Just an oddball-esque uh, looking... Uh, comic book, not really sure what this is about, but I picked it up for a dollar. Um, the Solly, this one is, I believe, three of four, and I got one of four from Vertigo Comics. I gotta go try to hunt down the other two, just so I could complete the story. Um, I also hit up a comic book store that I... Uh, you know, visit occasionally, um, not too often. Um, but I found out they are closing shops, so they're gonna. They were running a fifty percent off sale. So this comic book is was uh, or is CGC graded. Uh, they had it priced. I don't know if my camera is gonna get that, but it's priced. There it goes. They were they priced it for forty dollars. So twenty or fifty percent off that twenty bucks. I thought was a great deal for a 4.5 graded Submariner number one Silver Age from the 60s um, did not have this book I mean his first appearance is way too out of my reach but um, I thought this would be a, a pretty good placeholder for that now in terms of the eBay purchase I sold my old copy of this, so of course I wanted to get it back. That is a CGC graded 4.0 Fantastic Four number 48, which features the first appearance of the Silver Surfer. This one, I believe, is a bit undergraded due to the fact that it has uh, uh, beautiful colors. I remember mine, the one I had before, I believe, was a 3.5 or 3.0, and it was it was bad it didn't look good and this one's just greater 4.0 a few ticks of course the the top wear uh, but the colors still pop so i was surprised that this got a 4.0 rating all right now in terms of video game related items i am gonna go ahead and try to break this up via systems because i don't remember where some of them came from, to be honest with you. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and start off with my pickups for the GameCube. I got these, I believe, yep, at the thrift store for three bucks a piece. Pretty awesome titles. I was happy to find these because all four of these I did not have from my collection. I got uh, Super Monkey Ball 2 complete. Super Mario Strikers complete as well. Tales of Symphonia. Very happy to add this one to my collection. And this one. Oh, uh, yeah, I take it back. This one is missing the manual, but nonetheless, I'm glad that I could add it to my collection, and that is Kirby Air Ride. So three bucks a piece on those, I remember. Um, let me see, I don't see any other... Yeah, no other GameCube games. This I bought for $2, disc only, for the Xbox Conquer Live and Reloaded. Pretty... Um, Hard title to find. Let's see. For the PS3, I got this for, I believe it was $3. They, I haggled with them at the thrift store. It's uh, Uncharted Drake's Fortune for the PS3, not for resale version. I think I bundled that, that up with my um, uh, 
card lot, I believe, or a sports card lot. This one was pretty cool. I added this to the mix as well. It's for the 2600 Atari Complete Fireball. I think this is only my second complete in-box Atari game. Uh, went to the retro gaming shop by my work. Buy one, get the other one half off. Might have uh, overspent on these, on these, but I wanted a, a, a one of these Pokemon Stadium games without the name on it. So, a yeah, great looking label. And on top of that, I got Armorines for the 64. Did not have this either. Let's see, for the Game Boy, uh, I believe they were having a 20% a off sale at this other thrift shop. So I got, let's get this out of the case so you guys can see it a lot better. Solar Striker, did not have this one, great label, and we have The Amazing Spider-Man. That is it for Game Boy, for, let's see, PlayStation 1, I got Riven, the sequel to Myst. That is complete, I believe. Yep, feels like it. All five discs, great shape. Uh, Darkstone, missing the manual. Uh, for 250, Pipe Dreams 3D. Never heard of this title. Decided to check it out. Uh, three bucks. Metal Gear, Metal Gear Solid VR Mission. I may have this one already, I'm not sure. I don't think so though. <clears throat> we got Resident Evil Director's Cut for $2.99 or $3. And Spyro the Dragon for $2.99 black label. Let's see. Oh, and one other. Yep, PlayStation 1 game. I got Mort the Chicken. Now at this other thrift shop, it was really surprising for me to see these um, Japanese PlayStation games um, PlayStation 1 games so for $2.99 I picked up Biohazard 2 the DualShock version aka Resident Evil in great shape and Biohazard Gun Survivor $2.99 or $3 as well for Japanese PlayStation. Uh, they also had a random mix of uh, Japanese PS2 for $2.99, so I snagged up Devil May Cry. Devil May Cry 2. And The Getaway. All in great shape, all complete. And on top of that, they also had a few uh, Dreamcast games, so, or Japanese Dreamcast games, so I picked up for $2.99, The Ring, creepy movie, I'm pretty sure the game is just as creepy, and Guilty Gear X, Com both complete, both in great shape, so there is that, um, now I can get into a few more that I picked up at that uh, or uh, thrift store. They also had, I mean, somebody must have loaded their collection or something, because they also had um, complete Genesis games, which I don't see too often. So I pretty much snagged them all up uh, for $6.99 and 20% off that each. I got Sonic Blast. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 3, and you find 1 and 2 all the time, but 3 you don't really find too often uh, complete. You got the Terminator, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, my favorite one out of the trilogy in terms of the movie, James Pond 2. 
And we got Wolverine Adamantium Rage, complete in box. And not only did they have complete in box Genesis games, but they also had complete in box Nintendo games. So I picked up uh, Star Tropics. This one's actually an upgrade to the one I have because the other one has a smashed box. Uh, Disneyland Adventures in the Magic Kingdom. And last but not least, Amagon, which I still have to try out. I picked up the cart only a few weeks ago. Now I have one that's complete in box. So yeah, there you have it, folks. Uh, pretty strong haul. Um, the end of 2014 moving into 2015. I had a fun time snagging all these goodies from various places. And um, as always, happy hunting, and thank you so much for watching.